What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Today we're doing a vlog and it's something that I've never done before. We have Alpha here with us today. And in today's video, we're actually going to Mississauga's Sports Card Festival for 2022. Now you guys might be wondering, wait, where are we going? It's a sports card festival. So we're going for dinner. Oh, well, it's not dinner. Like candlelight and everything. Wait, what? Nope. You're getting dragged along to be my vlog cameraman. Oh. Guys, I don't pay him for this. But anyways, so it's a, I said festival, I think earlier, but I meant expo. So you guys might be wondering, why are we going to a sports card expo? Well, that's because I think there's supposed to be Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon stuff as well there. It's not just sports card. I think it's just like stores, like sports card stores that go in there, but then they have other stuff as well. So hopefully we can find some hidden gems. But mainly the reason I want to go, or one of the main reasons we want to go, is because PSA, Beckett, and a lot of the other grading companies are going to be there to be doing in person grading what does that mean it means that i can go and give them my cards physically i don't have to ship it out to psa and they can either get it graded same day or i'm gonna be giving a few cards so they might have to take it back with them but luckily in the price the shipping and all that stuff is included and they're offering a special price for this grading service so for that reason i was like this would be a really good time to get some of my stuff graded i'm actually gonna have alpha show you guys what i'm gonna be sending off and he's gonna start being my cameraman now so uh <laughs> oh yeah okay so there's nothing super crazy here but there's like the ultimate korean uh skyscraper twos we have a ufo roy wait what's this guy's name again ufo roy fighter okay ulti and then we have some of the korean cards we pulled from you know the korean openings uh we pulled this we pulled this these two i'm really excited for and then we have the japanese neos here as well that i think could come back as a psa 10 it would be really really nice and then we have some digimon stuff here as well so i think in total it's like 14 cards or something like that and i'm really excited because if some of these come back at 10 i was telling alpha this earlier but essentially the way i plan this is if they come back nines, I think the value as all nines is around $1,100 to $1,200. To get these all graded might cost me around $300. So even if they come back all nines, I can just move them and then make my money back and more. If they come back as tens, I get to keep a lot of the really nice hero stuff, which is really cool. So that's kind of my game plan here is like, hey, if it does well, then, you know, I get to keep some really cool hero tens. If it doesn't do well, then I get to move them and make some money. So either way, we are uh, kind of in the green here. Uh, so with that being said, I think we should just get right to the sports card expo. All right, so we made it here to the expo. It's actually really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys. There's a ton of stuff behind us. We've already looked at a couple booths with a ton of graded Pokemon stuff, a few graded Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. I wanna get into that more in a little bit, but the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go straight to the grading authenticating zone so we can get these cards to PSA. And then from there, we can go searching for cards and hunt for really cool things. I do want to leave here with something today. That's my goal. I want to leave here with something. So hopefully we find something really nice. With that being said, uh, let's get right into the grading zone and I'll hit you guys up when we're done with that. Alright you guys, the deed is done. We have I think like 14 cards or something in here. Everything is written down. We are good to go. I'm expecting good things. I want these two. Where's the uh, Shining? These two, the Shining and the Air Neos. I need these two to come back 10s. Pray for me boys. I just got my PSA submission in. Alpha and I walking around right now. We see a lot of Pokemon. We're looking a little bit more specifically for Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I don't mind the Pokemon stuff, but it has been my goal. It is my goal to walk out of here with something really nice. In the meantime though, I need you guys to pray for my PSA sub because I really want that to go well. So if there is anything else we see, anything more, anything really cool, I'm definitely gonna get it on the vlog for you. I think Alpha also wants to spend some money. I mean, we might we came here, so we might as well spend money, right? Uh, we'll see where it goes. A lot of potential. If you guys haven't already though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, for more vlogs like this, if you guys enjoy the vlogs. This stuff is completely different, I mean, I've never been to a thing like this before, so it's it's really cool to see. Just the environment is really cool. Just the fact that everyone is kind of like into the collectible scene, which is really different, you know? Especially when we go out to places. A lot of graded stuff, which is really cool. I've been getting into PSA and graded stuff in general just more, so I think it's really cool. With that being said, I don't want to miss anything while I'm vlogging, so uh, I'm going to go look around. Guys, we're back in the car. 
and we picked up some stuff. Some really nice stuff, actually. Alpha picked up some stuff, too. Yo, he picked up really cool stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. We, we got some pretty nice stuff here. I'm gonna show you what I got first. And actually, no, Alpha, because I'm already filming. Alpha, you can show them what you got. I'll do that real quick. And then we'll sh I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so first, we got... I forgot his English name, actually. Uh, Super Conductor. He's super Conductor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found a guy with, like, OCG Ultis. It was so sick. Oh, by the way, this is not the price we paid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This that, is not, that's, yeah. like, a code number that they had for their thing. That's not what we paid. There was actually a lot of stuff. I probably would have picked up even more if I wasn't broke. This one's actually a birthday present. So, Richard, if you're out there, you're looking at this. Um, I might keep it, actually, so screw you. But uh, <laughs> It's a birthday present for you. Yeah, next one, we have Electrum, which is not an ulti this time, but it is still... Nice prismatic secret. Hello, gorgeous. I think we might have the other... The beauty! Secret. This one I was really hyped about. But actually, I might even say that the one under this... The last one. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Let I might even see. be more hyped for because we saw the English copy earlier, right? Yes. And I was really considering it. We cannot doubt how good OCG looks. And we're talking about Ulti Doomfire. This card is so nuts. Guys, so pretty. He's turning me into a collector. I don't I, want this. I am turning him into I'm a not, collector. I'm, I have rent to pay. I can't do this. All right, so I want to finally show you guys my stuff, okay? So... I picked up some stuff here that's like not necessarily collectible. I picked up a Vision Hero Adoration. It's a first edition, so that's why I was kind of like, yo, he got he was giving a really good price on this, so I picked it up. And then I don't know if he knew what the price of Absolute Zeros are because he gave them to me for like twos a piece. So I was like, I'm not gonna say no to this. So yeah, we picked up these. This is more so for Edison, and then this was just because it's like first edition. I don't know, it's kind of pretty. So there's that. But I think you guys can already see here. I also collect Pokemon if you guys don't know. So uh I got a bunch of trainer gallery stuff essentially, just to add to the collection, as well as a nice radiant draw tree. I got a really good deal on these. It was like the end of the day. Uh, the thing closes in like 10 minutes. And he was like, hey, I'll give you a good deal on these. And I think I got them for like a buck a pop, essentially. So I'm not mad with that. That's pretty good, I would say. I mean, I didn't pick up anything super like high end. I wanted to pick up more of the OCG stuff, but they didn't have the hero stuff. And you know me, I'm a hero guy. So uh, yeah, I picked up some Pokemon, picked up some Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's not bad. Nothing too crazy but it's pretty. All right, so with that being said, we're leaving the expo, but I don't want to end the vlog off here. Alpha and I are probably going to be heading out to uh, locals just to check out some of their stuff, which means we might be spending more money. But uh, it's been fun so far, and I guess we'll catch you guys when we get to the locals. Before we leave the parking lot here, we have a little man. We're calling him a uh, two-spot Larry, but he's not taking two spots side by side as a typical car would. He's taking that spot and then blocking off the whole road and taking the spot behind him. Shout out to Spot Larry. I've never seen a man do it like this before. I really need you guys to like the video and subscribe. Um, I need to make my money back. Please, I need you guys more than ever. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, so I know I showed you guys earlier some of the stuff that I picked up. I'm going to show you some more of the stuff I picked up at Kenzin, but I'll just do a quick recap here as well. So first things first is we picked up a Lost Origin booster bundle. This is going to be for the Pokemon channel. If you guys want to check it out, a link will be in the description below. I think this is just really, it's a really nice set and it's a video that, you know, I'll talk about on the Pokemon channel. And then we also, on top of that, picked up not one, but two Silver Tempest booster bundles. The reason I picked up two was because I'm going to do two different videos that you guys will see what those are on the Pokemon channel. I also think the set is just insane. Like that set is so, so cool. And then on top of that, we picked up some cards over here. Oh, I almost spoiled what I wanted to show you guys at the end. So first things first, I know you guys saw this already, but we have Division Hero Adoration as well as the two Absolute Zeros. These cards are really, really nice cards that I'm going to add to the collection. Adoration is also like the highest rarity here, so it's, it's really pretty. I really like this. And then we picked up a lot of Pokemon stuff over here. The Radiant Jirachi, of course, I like shiny stuff. But then we also picked up a ton of the Trainer Gallery stuff that I wanted to add to the collection. So Sword Word, we have the Shadow Rider. Calyrex, Passimian. Some of this stuff is from Silver Tempest, which is nice. Got the Smeargle. Got the Zekrom over here. Also a really cheap card for, I think, what it is. This card is beautiful. But then lastly, we picked up the Elemental Hero Neos. Not just any Neos, but the Pharaoh's Rare Neos. I think this card is absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. I'm sad that I picked this up after I sent off the cards to PSA. This is definitely a candidate for a card that, you know, could have gone out to PSA. The centering is just a little bit off left to right, but that's it. There's nothing else wrong on the back. I took a look at it and I was kind of sad that I didn't send it off, but maybe we'll send it off in the next sub. I'm really excited about this one. This one is, uh, you know, me and my heroes. I just love this stuff. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I had a really, really fun and exciting day with Alpha. We got to sub some stuff to PSA, which was really nice. That was honestly the main goal of the day. The fact that I could sub to PSA in person, don't have to deal with the whole shipping process and all that stuff. I just subbed to them and I got a ton of really cool stuff, which means that we're going to do a PSA video when all that stuff comes back. I think it was a total of 14 cards. And then we picked up some really cool stuff to add to the collection as well as some Pokemon stuff to do on the Pokemon channel. So today I think was a success day. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. Again, guys, these are the kind of vlogs that I don't do too often, but I think they're just really, really enjoyable because they're just something that's different, I think, than your typical Yu-Gi-Oh! content. It's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! content, it's more like a lifestyle thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know in the comment section down below so we can do more of this because I really want to do more of this. This stuff's fun. Also, check out the Pokemon channel for the other stuff that's going to be coming up. And with that, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Spanko, signing out. Peace.